It's a Budo Cal um, giving a voice memo update. Uh, today is day 19 of the war. We're still in Rafa, uh, as Wafa mentioned. Um, and we are sheltering in place still uh, since uh, ever we moved down to Rafa uh, from northern Gaza. Uh, we're staying close by the borders, waiting for them to open. Um, no updates yet. Um, at the house where we reside, uh, we have about 10 Americans, including uh, my wife, Wafa, our son, Yusuf, myself, my sister and her three children, uh, my brother and my parents, um, uh, among others. And uh, we are staying in place, uh, trying not to leave as uh, the airstrikes have been intensifying. Um, last night, we could still hear bombarded, bom bombardment all around us. Some are through airstrikes where we could actually hear the missiles um, fly over the house um, or uh, basically uh, hit near us. And then uh, in other cases, we hear shelling uh, from artillery. Um, regardless, uh, I think since our last update yesterday, uh, there were three different uh, airstrikes that hit um, near uh, the neighborhood we're staying in. I think based on the pictures that we took and uh, uh, where uh, the hit was, we're estimating it was about 800 to 900 feet away. Um, and uh, again, same reaction from everyone in the house. Uh, it's unannounced, unexpected. So uh, everyone was just in complete panic. Uh, children were crying, screaming, uh, including Yusuf. Um, and uh, we had to spend a couple of hours after that trying to distract them and, and spend time with them. I think Wafa mentioned uh, we we're fortunate enough. It's almost like angels are looking after us. Uh, we hope they continue to do so. Uh, yesterday, out of nowhere, um, a kitten showed up at our front door um, and clearly belongs to someone. She had a collar on um, and uh, was very friendly uh, and not afraid from human beings. So we knew she's not a stray cat. Uh, we took her in and uh, Yusuf loves cats. He loves animals. We have a dog back home in Medway um, Lily and she's staying with friends luckily looking after her and uh, So this kitten kept Yusuf uh, pretty happy uh, for uh, most of the uh, uh, the day uh, After the airstrikes happened, so that was pretty helpful um, uh, to keep him uh, kind of uh, in a better mood and, and again trying to shield him from all the trauma that that comes with all the airstrikes um, we did receive a notification this morning from the state department uh, in this form of an email uh, it has no actual uh, updated content uh, it basically read that uh, uh, dear u.s citizen we want you to know that the u.s government is making every effort to press for a solution that will allow you to depart gaza via the rafa border uh, crossing to Egypt and onward from there. At the same time, we are working to bring additional humanitarian aid to Gaza. As we have information to share, we will do so. Please know that we are working on your behalf, uh, the U.S. Department of State, and, and we appreciate this message and we appreciate the State Department working on our behalf. And um, it has been it has been 19 days since the start of war, and uh, we're every day we're concerned that. Uh, it's going to become too late, uh, so we're, we're certainly hoping that uh, something will uh, develop soon enough uh, for us to leave Gaza and head back home.